Max, these little itty bitty niggas know it's up. Yeah. Just take care with a large bone man. That's a drip in a nigga, I ain't got no one. That's that bone man, pot feel fresh on man. What's good, y'all? That was Lil Mean. Y'all know who that's by. That's Lil Uzi Vert. Y'all know who this is. It's Nightmare. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Nigerian Nightmare. It's T.D. Ayodurajai. Welcome to the podcast, Nightmare Knowledge. It's been a while, y'all. I've been dealing with a lot of stuff, football-wise, in life, busy schedule, you know, there's a lot of things going on, but game day is finally, finally upon us. We had the camp vlog. We had the opportunity to hear each and everything my teammates had to say, you know, what they want to do for this team this year, how they plan on contributing, you know, kind of the vibes of this team. And, you know, it's finally it's finally showtime. We have the opportunity this weekend to go out there and do the things that, you know, we've been practicing, things that we've been training to do for the past two plus months over this summer. Stuff we were working towards since the last season ended. Everything is about to come into fruition. Everything is going to come into play this coming Saturday. And we're going to see how good of a team we really are. You know, we've had the opportunity throughout the the month of August in camp and, you know, July and June, you know, working out as a team to kind of build continuity, kind of figure out what we want to be identity-wise, kind of figure out, you know, a lot of the ins and outs of what our team is going to look like and, you know, for me personally, I I, th- I think this upcoming game is is going to be a beautiful, beautiful display of all the things that we've been putting out there. And, you know, me personally, I'm going to go out there and do everything I can to to lead by example, not only with my play, but making sure that I'm reminding myself to do all the right things on each and every play. Um, technique wise, alignment wise, do everything I can to to set the standard and hold it high. Um, for me personally, going into this game, what do I think about Lehigh? I mean, for me, I've always had the the mindset of respecting your opponent. I've always had the mindset of respecting the process, and that's something that will never stop. Um, as for Lehigh, you know, they're a team we've played each year. I've been here. Um, and, you know, they always give us their best effort, and I feel like everybody's been able to do that since I've played here. Um, it's a team I haven't lost to yet. Um, it's a team that I don't think we should lose to. Um, and it's a team that I think we have to make sure that we hold the standard high each and every play because, um, you know, they're good enough to beat us um, if we don't bring our A game. So I just think it's important to make sure that, you know, no matter what, that I respect the person in front of me and that, you know, he has somebody on, in his family that he wants to feed too. You know, that person also has a lot of aspirations in his life. And, you know, college football may be the end for them too. So they may want to come up and rip my head off every time they line up against me or my teammates. So we have to make sure we come out with the proper mindset, um, attitude-wise, and approach this game with the proper attention to detail that, you know, any season opener requires because, you know, we want to make sure we go out there and look, Chris, we want to make make sure we go out there and executing and making sure that the offense is flowing in such a way that allows for us to, to get up and down the field in an efficient manner. Um, you know, I always like to start with my running backs, you know, me, Jay, um, D. Will, you know, great week of practice. Um, I think the guys, you know, did a very good job in putting a lot of the drill work into our team periods and making sure that it's being displayed when we, we go to team periods against the scouts. And, you know, I really liked how the older guys looked. I liked how the younger guys followed suit. Um, you know, the game plan is what it is. And, you know, Coach Bowden really pays a lot of attention to, you know, how he's going to approach the game and, you know, what type of mindset we need to have as players to match him as an offensive, you know, play caller, somebody who's not afraid to call any type of play, um, somebody who I know is going to, try and do his best to to put us in situations as as athletes all of us to to be successful and it starts by each and every one of us knowing what we're doing um having a be- belief and a faith in one another that you know that person is going to be able to get the job done and you know I think now especially with the first game coming up it's very easy for us you know to look at all the we over me stuff we've been talking about and you know get to game day and then you know it's easy for us to think about the individual things that we want to do how many yards do I have how many touchdowns am I going to score think about the things we want to do this year but I think understanding the play by play mindset especially for me like I'm a fifth year you know I'm trying to do everything I can to to look as tantalizing in the eyes of NFL scouts as possible but you know it's not it's not my time to be worrying about that yet 
You know, it's not time for anybody on the team who's good enough to worry about that yet to be worrying about that yet. We all focus on the task at hand, and that's making sure that, you know, tomorrow's walkthrough is as clean as it's been. You know, it's the last opportunity to make sure that mentally we're ready before the game. And then, you know, Saturday is, is the is the ultimate test of, of how good this team is going to be, this We Over Me 2023 team. You know, the receivers look really good. That's a really talented group this year. I think I think Hayek and Pringle are going to do a really good job of not only leading by example, but I think they're going to do a really good job of, of leading – with their words and their actions and, and and making sure they impact guys on a more personal level in a way that they coach one another and coach their teammates in a way that they go out there and play with, with the right intensity, the right mentality, and making sure that they're doing all the little things such as lining up right, lining up quickly, and making sure that we're reading the defense and putting in extra work off the field to give the young guys the the right the right template and right blueprint as to how to be a successful Villanova football player. Guys like Pringle Guys like Hay, guys who have been all conference guys, you know, are guys who are going to allow our receiver room to be as elite as it should be this year. I think we have a top level receiving room. I think the guys have the talent, the speed, the hands, and the and all the ability in the world. And I think it just comes from them believing in each and every one of them themselves, and and believing in what Coach Bowden and what Coach Bagan has, you know, set out for them, and just making sure that they just trust that no matter what, trust it wholeheartedly, you know. Blind faith, and you know that's really what faith is about. You know, belief of what you can't see. I have no idea how the game is going to play out, and neither does Coach Pagan, neither does Coach Bowden, neither does Coach Fletch, neither does Coach Lachlan, and neither does Coach Devon. None of them know how the game is going to play out, but they do know how they can put us in positions to make this team successful. And I know the receivers are going to do that. I know the running backs are going to do that. And the offensive line, it always starts with them. You know, they're guys that put in an immense amount of time in a film room. They put in a lot of work individually during practice throughout the week, probably more so than any other position group. And, you know, just kind of seeing all the work that they're doing and making sure that, you know, as a running back, I'm keyed in on the same things they are and making sure that I'm in, in, in one and in unison with them in terms of protections and run game and, you know, making sure that, you know, as an older running back along with Jay and D. Will, making sure that these younger guys understand the ins and outs of the offense, understand how to read a defense, understand what the fronts mean, what each front is going to do for us for each play and all those little nooks and crannies that are required for a high level player, you know, to kind of, you know, experience and, and deal with in a daily week and a work week and, you know, preparing for that game, you know, those are the extra nooks and crannies and extra details that, you know, we running backs try to pick up on whenever we get opportunity to work with offensive linemen and practice. And, you know, I kind of liked seeing how all that came together throughout the week. And, you know, each and every day we became more and more sharp and, you know, I know Coach Devon always has those guys in the right place. So going in every game, you, know, you have a lot of faith that those lanes will be there. And, you know, for me as a running back, you know, don't get too excited. Don't get too overzealous. Something I have to remind myself a lot because, you know, we haven't run the ball in a game in a long time. You want to go out there and be patient and still do all the right things regardless. And I think that's something that, you know, I, I, I'm going to make sure that I try my best to do and remind myself of doing. And, you know, last and, and certainly not least, you know, I play offense. And y'all know this This doesn't really go without the guy under center. And, you know, if y'all don't know who that guy is, you know, it's going to be C-Watt. You know, it's going to be C-4. You know, you know what a C-4 is. It's an explosion. And hopefully he's the man that's behind that master explosion that we have on a weekly basis this year. You know, he's looked really good throughout camp. He's made a lot of personal strides himself to, you know, try and be the leader that he's meant to be for this team. Um, I don't think there's anything that me personally I can say because I have to start with myself or anybody else on the, on, on the offense can really do to really supersede him as our leader. I don't care if he has a C on his chest or not. I don't care what people on this team think of him and what anybody else may think of Connor Watkins based off last year. But, you know, I know he's going to be a really good, good guy for our team. Um, he has all the ability in the world. He has a bunch of guys in the quarterback room as well. That'll push him really hard and keep him on his toes at all times, mentally and physically. You know, that room has always been really talented. Uh, Coach Bowden does a really good job in making sure those guys, it starts with them, making sure they're sharp, making sure they're making sure that everybody is locked in and, and they're executing at a high level and that they're cerebral. And, you know, I expect our quarterback room to, to help us get to where we need to go this year. And I think Saturday is going to be the ultimate test. Um, defensively, um, you know, those guys are going to continue to to find ways to get a bunch of different guys on the field 
and, you know, just attack and just have that attack mentality and attack mindset. And, you know, every great defense has that attitude, has that identity. And I'm looking forward to seeing who those guys on the defense this year are going to be, um, who are going to help us get to where we need to go. You know, defense, you have to have a type of attitude. You have to have a type of demeanor. You have to have a type of will. And you have to have a type of, of, of grit and, and nasty to you to really go out there and do what you need to do at a high level to be an elite defense. And I think that our defense wants to be that. And I think they have everything, you know, personnel-wise and coaching coaching staff-wise to, to be an elite defense. And, you know, I think they're going to have an opportunity to shake off some of the rust. You know, defense usually has to shake off more rust than offense in week one. So hopefully week one that, you know, this offense – that we're going against with Lehigh, you know, doesn't pose us too many troubles. I don't expect them to do too much passing the ball against us because I know we got guys on the outside. But I just think it's got to be a belief. Like, defense especially, like, they got to walk the line of arrogance and confidence all the time because you got you got to guard somebody who's, who's fast and in space. And you got to tackle somebody who's fast and in space. You got to take on blocks. So, you know, our defense is going to be aggressive. Our defense is going to get after people. And you're going to see that chain coming out a lot of times this year. So, you know, for me going into this game, I, I'm excited personally um, just because, like, for me, like, in my personal life, I've been dealing with a lot of stuff off the field. And, you know, I could always talk about, you know, the negative side of, you know, some of the things that are going on with with me personally. I got some stuff um, that I'm dealing with emotionally, um, and, you know, a lot of real life stuff. And, you know, I can always do this woe is me and, you know, have that attitude and have that mindset. And, you know, it's been hard. You know, you kind of feel alone. You feel isolated. You don't really understand. But, you know, I'm trying to get closer to God. I'm trying to bring myself closer to my spiritual side and remind myself that God is doing all these things for reasons, that God is is giving me a life where I have a great girlfriend and I have, you know, the necessary institutions in place to kind of distract me from some of the things that are going on in life and you know I consider myself lucky not everybody has that that luxury to have a sport like football where they can just you know strap up a helmet and you know have the ultimate release and you know for me just having the opportunity to continue to get up every day you know have the life that I have and you know have the opportunity to go to the tally center each and every day and and put on the Villanova you know V it kind of reminds me of how blessed I am and, you know, reminds me that life is short and, you know, everything that that God has in store for me and my teammates this year, I feel like it's going to come to pass. And, you know, everything that's going on externally is just noise. Um, and, you know, it's hard, like life happens and, you know, a lot of different things come about, you know, qu- throughout the course of a season that try to, you know, take your eyes and focus away from what the end goal is. And, you know, for me, I'm glad that God has given me a life, a family and, you know, people in my life that will always keep me on my toes and you know just this podcast is giving me the opportunity to kind of remind y'all that like you guys gotta take care of yourselves and you know you gotta make sure you take care of the people around you you know making sure that you have the people around you that are gonna allow you to get to where you need to go a lot of you guys got people in your life that are just gonna always tell you what you want to hear and you know get you to just act off impulse and oh yeah do this do this but you really got to enjoy the process in which life is like each and every moment is is valuable and you want to extract as much out of it, you know, with yourself. You want to maximize every moment and then you want to extract and maximize every moment you have with other people as well. So, you know, just reminding just being reminded that, you know, each and every moment in life is precious and each and every moment in life is one that we can improve at. And we should spend our entire life finding ways to get better so that life never gets boring for us. And you know, my life is, is it's hard for my life to be born because of how God has blessed me. And, you know, this weekend is an opportunity for for not only my teammates, but myself to, you know, have some fun and, and go play a game that we all love and all help just get here. And, you know, th- this sport is has helped me mentally in so many different ways. And I'm going to continue to allow it to do that. And hopefully my teammates are doing the same thing as well. And, you know, I hope if any of my teammates are struggling with, with anything independently that, you know, they, they either talk to me about it or talk to someone about it. You know, it doesn't have to be me. You know, I'm not always the easiest person. I'm not always the person that everybody wants to talk to. And sometimes you want to keep that stuff to yourself. But just just make sure y'all handle that. And, you know, at the end of the day, like, it's all going to take care of yourself. Got a game this weekend. Super excited. Did my normal schedule today. Uh, cryo and, and the sauna. And I feel real good. And, you know, hopefully, you know, that, that leads to success this weekend. And, you know, catch y'all next week. And hopefully we on, on, on camera next time. But, 
You know, it's your boy Nightmare. We out here and we got a game to win this weekend. Peace.